You're watching the news summary on Geo.TV. I'm Sharbana Javeri. Rescue operations to recover 139 people buried under an avalanche at the Gyari sector continue on the 11th day despite severe weather conditions. Rising temperatures have increased chances of landslides and rescue teams from Norway and US have reached Gyari to assist in rescue operations. Meanwhile, PMLN chief Nawaz Sharif also reached Gyari to tour the site of the disaster and overlook rescue operations. The meeting of the Defence Committee of the Cabinet to discuss the restructuring of relations with the US and the restoration of NATO supply route has been rescheduled for Tuesday evening. Earlier, the meeting had been postponed to Wednesday but has been moved back to the original schedule to, due to the availability of all participants. The committee will deliberate upon adopting the recommendations given by the Parliamentary Committee on National Security which were approved during the joint session of the Parliament. The Supreme Court has directed the Prime Minister's counsel, Ertazaz Essen, to conclude his arguments in the contempt of court case by Wednesday. Responding to the court's directives, Ertazaz said he could not provide assurance that his arguments would be completed by tomorrow. During proceedings, Ertazaz also reiterated that the judges who issued the notice to Prime Minister Gilani could not be part of the trial bench. Osama bin Laden's family can be deported from Pakistan any time after midnight on Tuesday after the term for their sentence comes to an end. Bin Laden's three widows and two daughters will have completed their short sentence of detention for illegally entering and residing in Pakistan on Tuesday. Young doctors across Punjab are observing a strike against transfer orders of their colleagues by withdrawing services from outpatient departments for the sixth day. Patients visiting the hospitals in Punjab are facing various troubles due to the Young Doctors' Strike as the Young Doctors' Association and Punjab government maintain their respective stance.